A recent report by the U.S.-based nonprofit organization Feeding America has shown that since the outset of the pandemic and the subsequent shutdown of most businesses statewide, cases of food insecurity have gone up nearly 50 percent in the four counties of western Massachusetts compared to this time last year. In his ongoing look at issues of poverty, homelessness, and hunger in the 413 area code, Connecting Point's Brian Sullivan visited a local community college prior to the COVID-19 outbreak to see how they were tackling this issue for members of their student body. The Food Bank of Western Massachusetts, with its warehouse and offices located here in Hatfield, has been serving those in need in the four counties of the 413 area code since 1982. To get an idea of just how many, in the one-year stretch from October 1st of 2018 to October 1st, 2019, they served over 200,000 individuals to the tune of a little more than 10 million meals. Their distribution route includes folks on their members list, like food pantries, shelters, child and elder care facilities, as well as a direct-to-client operation like their mobile food bank. Absent from their member list, though, are colleges and universities, but it's not for a lack of want from either side colleges themselves can't be members and that's because of IRS tax rules. So what we're doing with the college campuses who would like to become members is working with them to try to partner them up with other existing member agencies that we have so that then they can start getting food from us. Getting students involved in the process, however, is a different story. Luis Perez is the point person for the Food Bank's Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program Outreach and Enrollment. Actually, Perez is more than just the outreach coordinator. His affable nature makes him the ideal diplomat in a situation where people seeing him for the first time may feel at their most vulnerable and least comfortable. They're worried about where their next meal is going to come from, so I try to ease that. Um, and they feel pretty good uh, about talking to me. They feel pretty good about uh, being able to ask for the help. Once they get the help, they feel even better. Um, they're not so worried about, you know, um, uh, where the next meal is going to come from. They're not worried about taking somebody else's meal or anything like that. Recently, some four-year institutions have gained attention for the programs that they've implemented to combat student hunger on campus. Community colleges, not so much. As commuter schools, the general consensus is that their students have better access to food since they're living at home. Not only is that not always the case, but some of the numbers coming from Holyoke Community College could turn that consensus completely on its head. I might be dating myself a little bit here, but it doesn't feel like it was that long ago that I could have taken a couple of classes at my local community college, had a job, paid a rent, and still found a way to get in three square meals a day. Nowadays, it's not so easy, and it could be a number of factors. Increased cost of living, higher tuition rates, the cost of books, stagnated wages. Whatever the case, students of all ages are feeling it. How many? Well, about 46% of the entire student body here at Holyoke Community College could fall under the umbrella of food insecure. This is where the school's Thrive Center comes in with a mission of helping students and community members tackle the challenges they face outside the classroom, like food insecurity, their grab-and-go program is a big hit. For a longer-term fix, there's even a modest food pantry, because keeping students fed and healthy matches the school's mission. No student should ever have to go hungry, and um, it's very difficult to educate a hungry student. And HCC aspires to be a college known for academic excellence and helping students overcome barriers to success. One of those great barriers is food insecurity, so our Thrive Center is absolutely critical in helping to address that need. The center makes a point of not only simplifying the whole process, but also destigmatizing the experience of being in need. It's easy um, if you're a student at the college. Um, you can just show them your ID, send maybe a couple piece of paper and you can get services there. It's helped in more than just like feeding me. I think it gave me a sense of, of, of hope and humanity because like I, I didn't want to go to Thrive. I didn't want to do anything with Thrive because I felt like I'd be a burden upon someone else, you know? Like I am okay with going to ask people for help now. And while the modest pantry here at HCC may be sufficient for now, if there's a continued rise in students experiencing food insecurity, Becoming a member agency with the Food Bank of Western Massachusetts may end up becoming a necessity. There have been a lot of loopholes that we've needed to jump through in terms of figuring out 
legally and by tax, according to the tax law, how we can serve them. But we've been working really hard to figure all of that information out because we definitely want to help these students.